King Charles, let William and Kate take charge of leading tributes to the Queen. It's been reported that the Prince and Princess of Wales are expected to deliver a message to the public that will honor the life of the late monarch. The couple will also use the occasion to look forward. According to a source, final plans are still being made over how the address will be delivered, whether in person or via social media to millions of fans. How wonderful that Wales is have been given the honor by King Charles to lead the nation in remembering the late Queen. The King has deliberately chosen to follow the late Queen's example. In the following story, Harry and Meghan were intentionally not invited to join the royal family to commemorate the late Queen's death anniversary. The Prince and Princess of Wales will be leading the tribute to the late Queen and it will cause some tantrums on the part of the wherever it is that they now reside. Page 6 reports that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle plan on honoring the first anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II death in their way after not making the invitation list for the royal family's forthcoming Balmoral Castle gathering. They will of course acknowledge and pay their respects to Her Majesty in their way. A source said, while confirming that the couple hasn't received any information or invitation to plans marking the anniversary of her death. However, the insider notes that the memorial at the Scottish estate is not a formal royal event. I know the palace has said nothing official is happening. The source shares adding that honoring the late queen is very personal. King Charles III will pay tribute to his mother quietly and privately at the Balmoral Estate in Scotland. A royal source said how much this passing was an event that truly signified the end of an era. The royal family has been in transition since then, and following the coronation and conclusion of the summer holidays, there will be an expectation to see what's next. Palace Officials have said that the king will spend the anniversary of his mother's death quietly and privately just as the late queen did to mark her own father's passing, royal family. Members are permitted to attend public engagements around the date of the queen's anniversary, but sources have said that there were no plans for any public or private family gatherings to be attended by everyone. Though Prince Harry is still not on good terms with King Charles, and Prince William royal expert Robert Jobson revealed the Princess of Wales is doing her best to heal the rift. I'm not sure how much dialogue there is with William and Harry. At the moment, I think the only person that's helping the situation is Catherine, who's doing a brilliant job he shared with the news outlet. First of all, when the king wants to see his grandchildren, for example, it's important to say that a lot of it has been through Catherine. He noted admitting that when it comes to the brothers mending ties, things are a little more difficult. I think as brothers, they're more likely to get on the phone and have a conversation. One of them might pick up the phone to have a rant, but who's going to pick up the phone on the other end? He continued because that's not going to achieve anything. 